Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our New World series. And I'm just kind of doing a quick check on everything here just to see how everything's going. And, you know, because we did the research, the things are kind of producing. But then I'm noticing that we're running out of, out of circuits. And either they're being sucked up by this thing to produce... So what happens if we put those in there to produce these repair kits? Then I could potentially see that. But then I think we use circuits here, and as well as here for for these guys, right? And we also use advanced circuits, so it's a more constant flow occurring. And here we're reliant on the copper, and the copper is being scooped up by these guys. So this is running less, and there's no copper making its way down here, so actually red circuits will run out. So we have a copper situation. Dire, dire. Yeah, look at that. Copper's not making all the way down here. Yeah, we're going to have to work on some copper today. So you grab your drink and your tasty treats, and yeah, let's let's give this a shot here. Let's... Let's see. Oh, look at those! Look at those bugs there. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Um, I want to put a, a doorway here. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's do four blocks. We can just do it like this. Where are we? Where is it? Here we go. So all four. Okay. Let's place them. Okay, so we're going to have to go that way. Shoot, because I want to hook this in, so I need more belts. So let's grab some more belts here. we got tons of iron still. That's all backed up nicely. That's just the copper, though. Crap. <laughs> belts, belts. So let's see here. Let's grab them from this one here. Because that's what it's for. Uh, Let's do 100 of those. Let's do 100 of these guys. Uh, let's see here. Let's. How do we clear these? Uh, maybe like this. Maybe we'll pick the red ones. Like so. I'm going to switch these to the red belts as well. And these I'm going to switch to this. I'm just using the middle mouse button to switch it. So, I just click a middle mouse button on these and that's what it switches to. It's pretty cool. Um, so that way it kind of only secures a slot for the certain items that you're looking for. Oh, got a burner mining drill we can unprocess. Let's see, you need some more, do we need some more turrets? Let's grab some more turrets anyway. Some more bullets, I think. Let's grab those guys. I want to fill up on bullets pretty much. I do want to place these logistic robots. I've been kind of thinking about where I want to put those. And kind of have an idea, kind of don't. Let's grab some of those. Uh, let's see here. Throw that in there. There's ores and stuff here, right? Yeah, we need to throw these into the system. So let's do that. Let's see, run over here. Okay, so let's grab these guys. Perfect, okay. And then do the same with the copper. Okay, perfect. Yeah, well, everything's tapped. Okay, so let's go run this way. Down, and we're going to check on hooking this stuff up. Okay, so where do I want to uh, hook this in? I want to hook it in up here. So let's grab the red belt here. And let's finish this. Um, not sure how high up we need to go. Oh, went too far. So let's bring this down a bit. Okay, uh, turn this. And I think we're going to run backwards yet. Yeah. Uh, tree in the way. Yeah, oh crap, the rocks. Huh. So, 
It looks like they changed the the angle that we shoot from. You, we can now only shoot from the cardinal or well, cardinal, like the you know, you know, like the eight directions. And I don't know why they did that. I'm not sure if I like that change. I'm not sure if it's a coding change or you know, kind of like you're trying to streamline everything, make it it more. Uh, I don't know. If you're going to do that, then I think you need to change the way the biters walk. You make them more straight, like up, down, left, right, and diagonal, like that. Because I find sh shooting the biters, you know, it's not as advantageous anymore, like from any angle, and just like aiming at them. It seems like it's a lot harder now, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my noobness. I don't know. <laughs> my inexperience in the game. So, not too sure, but yeah so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hook in this stuff up here just checking the ammo levels so we'll hook this stuff into here um, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to look because I kind of I matched up in case this stuff runs out right so we need to tie it in somehow so maybe we'll just tie it in like this just through one of these guys and let's put that right there and now now we can fire up the other stuff so let's run back down to where this is and bring some power lines down there I think we might already have no actually we won't so we'll put this one in behind like so and then yeah Let's bring it down this way. Ah, here we go. Oh, that's not. There we go. Now let's put lights in place. I always want to put lights on these guys. Because, I don't know, I kind of like that. Ah, so silly. Okay. Perfect, and I know the research is done. I'm just kind of you know, letting it sit while we, yeah. So there's lots of resources. It's just not coming down fast enough, right? It's like we're consuming it faster than we're we're picking it up. So I think with this deposit, we should be relatively okay. I'm gonna, you know, place some um, some protection here now. I think. So let's start that process. Um, do I have any walls with me? I don't have any walls. So let's run back quickly and grab those. Crap. <laughs> I should have grabbed my walls. I usually try and think out what I'm going to do, but the walls kind of just sprung up, right? So unfortunately, I didn't think ahead, and therefore I suffer for it. And unfortunately, you do as well sometimes, maybe. <laughs> If somebody's actually watching this, that's what's funny about everything. Uh, this is the only way I can play this game, is by playing it. And, oh, there we go. So more is coming through, which is beautiful. And that's exactly what we want to see. Perfect. And this is balancing it out. So the extra resources is helping. And voila. There we go. And the iron we could tap in as well, potentially, just the same idea, just a line this way. And then eventually, maybe we'll create a train station type of thing for the resources as we get further out, right? Because I find the trains are almost unnecessary if the resources are too close. You almost need to spread them out further. Uh, let's see here, let's put these guys in. Ah, we're out of those already. We've already gone through a hundred of those belts. Like, come on. <laughs> okay, so let's do. You almost need to do all of it. Oh, I hit the the tilde key or whatever. The little squig line it shows you all the the messages. The last messages, basically. It's the key beside the one key. <laughs> I, which I have a bad habit of hitting because my laptop where the button's positioned. Sometimes it's annoying, but yeah. Good. I like to see this stacked up. Because that means it's 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 all working. Both sides are working. And yeah. Good, good. I think we can convert this to red. 
speed up the process. Like so. And then I'll stack this up faster and back it up, which is what I like to see. I like to see backed up lines. All right, because that means everything's if everything is producing and you have backed up lines, it means you have enough resources to fill it in. Like here we go. Here we have more completely more resources now. That's which is awesome. And we can actually potentially make the one side quicker maybe. Ah no, we gotta make both sides quicker. That just makes more sense. Okay, and then we put a red splitter in place here. There we go. And I think this line will become more solid and way more coppers being forced down. Now we have copper being produced and we have lines perfect red circuits being produced again they're gonna start to back up and we're still making this stuff hey eh? oh it looks like that's almost done which means that that's done so now that will start backing up soon here ah uh, no it won't because we got these guys these guys are the research so that needs to back up as well so we actually need to do more of that more of a buffer this is batteries right accumulators okay excellent so that is stocked up how are oops I'm in the, the corner there so now let's let's deconstruct some stuff here I want to deconstruct the burner mining drill oh wow look at that perfect you throw those in here back into stone excellent look at that so nice and then we can throw the stone into oh look at that still needs more stone wow now do we have that stone deposit up here um, let's actually dump this stuff let's dump this stuff into here what do we want to dump um, to dump all this stuff let's throw all this stuff in here Okay, let's let's throw shoot all this stuff. Where's that happening? Turret. Okay. Steel. It's we're not gonna produce anything. Throw that. Um, okay. Let's throw the alien packs up here. This is our alien pack storage or alien artifact or whatever you wanna the proper one. Whatever the proper name for it is. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, let's see here. We do need to replace more of these guys. So let's see how much are made. Only eight. So we'll take all those. Yeah, it's those red circuits, unfortunately. Which I think are being produced. So I think we're okay. Well, maybe. There's only half of it. It's almost not being created fast enough. We almost need more of these. So the next time I create this, it's going to have to be kind of same idea, but it's going to have to be in a design that's kind of going up and modular. So that's for the next game. So yeah, so as you play this game, I find you, you learn you know, the different aspects. You learn what you need to create your configurations and then you go from there, right? So, I really like that. I really enjoy that aspect of the game. So, let's grab some substations. Okay, red circuits there. I like that. Just doing a quick check here. Still bots being produced. Do you actually want a couple? Okay, pipes. Um, how's this stuff? This one, uh, this should be full box. Yeah. Okay, let's go find that stone. I think we got those burners. Let's see the drills up there. Um, let's follow this road. Okay, I want to put the the wood down in here still. So this assembly here, because we don't need the wood. Let's check out the coal up here. 
what's left up here. Still 5.2. That's going to be there for a long time still. Uh, we've had that deposit since the beginning. Let's see here. Let's let's take a look at this. It's, everything's being produced on in solar power, and then we have, of course, have accumulators. But I have a funny feeling that the um, the steam engines, once it gets to nighttime here, are, are going to kick in, and I don't like that. So, what, oh, it's the turret where the burners are. Or burners, what am I saying? Burners. Uh, let's, let's, let's put doors here. One, two, three, four. And then let's... Uh, okay. I'll do that. <laughs> Let's go check this out here. We're going to have to put some more paths. Oh, that's right. I have multiple boxes. Yeah, there's lots of stone here. Um, why don't, isn't there much? Oh, because it's all up here. Okay, so we grab the whole thing and run down and let it continue doing its thing. It's because I have a, a turret up here, a couple turrets. Yeah, so we need to place... Gonna have to place some walls around this place. I'm gonna have to maybe potentially put like this, right? So that way we have kind of better coverage. Um, it's a little bit tighter. So it looks like it's a good design. Let's throw those in there. Uh, put that in there. Perfect. We kind of don't need walls because the turrets are pretty powerful. The walls are more for this part of the base. But, yeah. Okay, so we got a ton of stone, which is awesome. Let's run back down this way. And let's pick up some concrete and actually lay it. Let's do maybe two loads of this stone, maybe. Okay, where is the stone? Here we go. I'm going to throw it here. I guess we can't do two loads because there's not really enough. But this will make more brick, which will make more of this stuff. One, two, three, four, five hundred of that. Let's bring that. Let's grab all our stuff. Uh, one, two, three. Grab all that, that. All this stuff, this stuff, this, 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 bang, 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 bang. Perfect. And these are more walls. I'm not sure if I want to mass produce walls at all, but I guess what we could do in the future is create kind of like a stone assembly section. And that's how you build all that stuff. Yeah. I like the fact that we can break down stuff with this, with this reverse factory. Yeah, I don't know. It might be overpowered a bit. You might need a different way of doing things, but... Oh, plastics. Petroleum. Light oil. Heavy oil. Uh, it's because it's, we're, we're cracking. It's, it's creating stuff. Let's see. Yeah, it only creates two... Uh, but we need it, right? And this stuff will... It's not pressure probably going through. If we had more oil, it probably would fill up both really fast. Okay, I'll run back this way. We got walls now. I don't think we need walls. I'll just put more turrets. Let's see here. Put that there. This is why we need bots. I want them to repair this on, on their own. I don't want to have to guide them into that. So, okay, well, ah, look at that. Oh, shit. 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 Shit, get away. Bastards. Really? This... We need walls, man. Walls, walls, walls. Ah, 
Come on, bastards, really? Man, brutal. There we go. Brutal, brutal, man, brutal. Okay, so what is? I guess we gotta replace everything. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. But with this stuff, the way it is, at least we can place it the way it was. And now we're gonna definitely put a wall around this side. Definitely more aggressive. <laughs> oh man, crazy, crazy. But then they all just started to happen when we went over here, if you notice that, right? Very interesting. We're going to put in probably turrets, I think. So let's replace this stuff here. Oops. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Perfect. Just making sure oh yeah, this is all needs to be picked up anyways, unfortunately. Because that's what happens. Let's pick up this stuff here. Um, yeah, let's keep walking this way. Okay. Perfect. So now we can put in more belts here. Perfect. Crazy. <laughs> oh, man. That is just phenomenal. Okay. Perfect. Now we can power these guys. Thing like that, and then there was a light, I think. Where are we? Right here. Here. I think we got everything now. There's these random things, but I don't remember what was poles and what. Oh, wait, maybe those are power poles that we're missing. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe? So, there we go. Now we got it going again. Okay. So now we need to make sure we put turrets. Um, like that. Oh, it looks like it's following the three pattern, which is nice. Now let's put more, more of these guys in. Okay, then we need to place a wall. Um, I think like this. We want uh, two blocks away from the actual turrets. I think it's two. Let's double check back here. These guys should be two blocks. Yeah, two blocks away. The reason I do two blocks is because that means the biters have to be that much more closer to the turrets, right? If you put your turrets further back, they're going to shoot over the wall. And so they have to come closer to, to either destroy these, or if they want to destroy these, they need to come in within their shooting range. I don't know. I figure it works. That's, that's why I do it. Whether or not anyone else does is another story, but that's okay. I'm going to make this a little bit larger here. Just going to do this. Dude, this, the only reason I'm putting a wall around this stuff here right now is because it seems to be the hotbed, so <laughs> we're going to make sure all the stuff make it safely. I'm um, going to continue putting our wall of protection around this. Okay, I need to pick this up. 
I'm going to have to build a wall kind of around this whole thingy as well. Um, ah, maybe not. Maybe we'll just ignore it. And what I mean by that is we'll just put a wall like that. Um, let's see here. One, two, three. And corner. I think like this. And basically in between. Yeah. I think like that. Let's see here. Bring it up. It's funny, hey, when I place this up here, one, two, three, I didn't even count it for if it was two blocks. But look, one, two, two blocks. That's the, the Minecraft thing. I always have that, which is funny. One, two, three. If I just trust myself and do it, I can almost eyeball everything. I can make it look like as it should, and it'll be perfect. Look at that. Perfectly uniform. It's probably mostly because of these guys. They help set it up. Maybe there's one piece that kind of started it all. Okay, actually, we can break that connection. Do that, and then reconnect it. Like so. Now we got all these guys. So now let's fill these up with ammo here. And this should last us till the end of the game. Let's see. Let's keep going all the way around here. Ah oh, man, these turrets take so much. That's crazy. Okay, let's put this one here. Let's grab half of this one. We probably don't need all this ammo and all these turrets, but I don't know. Maybe one day. That's why I always power up the turrets, right? Okay, cool. There we go. Now let's build some doors here. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What the frick? Wow. That sucks. Damn it. They got a good range on them now. So we're going to have to invade, I think. So we'll do this. Do this. Okay. Uh, place regular ammo in here. Might as well. Uh, place the door over here. Perfect. And let's run over this way. Let's check the ammo. Uh, it's going to be tough to keep that, actually. We're going to have to start attacking those bases to the left. So, how much time do we have here? Uh, crap, I should... I should well, I'm going to play for 15 minutes more. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's see here. So, we're going to try and do an attack. So... Let's run down in this direction here. So we're relying on plastic. We need oil too. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna run into problems, problems, problems. Ah, that's more ammo. That's pretty good actually. So maybe those two is enough to produce. Um, we got more copper to place into the system here. See now we got enough copper flowing. Beautiful. There we go, okay. Um, excellent, I like this area here now. So what we need to do is actually do this. Okay. Fortunately we have to kind of, I want everything to be placed, replaced and Okay, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we gotta push. We gotta push over to the left. That's all I can say. So let's do that. If we run this way, can I check these deposits? They look good. These ones up here are fully loaded, which is good. Let's look at our map. Yeah, over to the left. So let's do this need to call this stuff here so 
I'm gonna run up in this direction here. We're gonna go to the left. I'm gonna zoom out so I can. There we go. There's a bunch. So it looks like a set of them amassing for an invasion. So we're gonna kind of invade from up here, I think. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, it looks good actually. Nice big deposit up here, which is nice. I hope I have enough fuel. Uh, f fuel. Hope I have enough turrets. Hopefully they won't die too fast. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting battle here. Let's give it a quick save. Let's go in here. Ah, oh, this might be a long episode. <laughs> Um, let's see, load game just so we can see the time. So basically, okay, no, it's been a half an hour. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to finish it right here. and We'll start it with the next episode with us fighting these guys to, to kill them here. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you next one. Bye-bye.